Hey everyone, my name's Catherine. I'm the internet writer here at reviews.org and I'm here to tell you what the heck is going on with internet during this wild and crazy time because right now life is feeling pretty unreal, right? I'm currently in Georgia taking care of my parents and my coworkers and I are all working from home. It's kind of bizarre. Uh, I wanted to bring you some internet updates from providers like AT&T, CenturyLink, and Xfinity that may help smooth things out a little bit for you. Because Right, we heard at the end of last week that the White House is extending its recommendation for more social distancing to last through the end of April at least. That's kind of inconvenient for most of us, to put it mildly. But a lot of internet providers are stepping up and seeing what they can do to kind of help us all out while we're using the internet more than we ever have before in our homes. That means we're working, studying, entertaining ourselves at home, and hey, guess what? That all uses internet. Um, I just want to add real quick, if you're not able to work from home and you're experiencing financial difficulties due to everything that's going on, I really hope that that's just a temporary thing for you. I hope things get better and I'm so sorry. Stick with us here at reviews.org. We've got all the updates on deals, fee waivers, and everything else that might help you out during this. Um, and I just want to add, it's not just internet stuff that we've got for you. My coworkers have updates on cell phone providers. We've got updates on TV service and home security systems that are going to hopefully help make things a little less turbulent during this crazy time. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out reviews.org uh, for all those updates and let's get to it. So first things first, the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC as most of us know it, asked the internet providers in the U.S. to all sign a pledge called Keep Americans Connected. Well, isn't that sweet? Well, it is pretty sweet, actually, because more than 550 internet providers signed this thing. That's epic. And what's even more epic is that by signing the pledge, they've all promised not to disconnect your service or charge you late fees if you have trouble paying your internet bill. Yeah, that's a big deal. The other thing is that many of them who signed the pledge have also opened up their Wi-Fi networks to anyone who needs to use them, and there's no charge for that either. So if you're out and about, or for whatever reason you can't get an internet connection, look for one of those Wi-Fi hotspots. You don't have to be a customer to use it at this time. The other awesome thing that wasn't necessarily part of the FCC pledge, but some internet providers are kind of throwing in, is that they're removing data caps. Because let's face it, when we're all working and playing at home and studying at home, we're using a lot of data. And some internet providers have in the past said, you only get a terabyte of data per month. Not anymore. A lot of them are saying, hey, you guys can have unlimited data because we understand what you're going through. So that's awesome because now you can do all the work you need to do. You can entertain yourselves. You can do all the studying you need to do without having to worry about that really kind of whiny email that you get in the morning at 3 a.m. that says, nah, uh, uh you used all your data. No more. So if you entertain yourself by playing video games like I do, you can go ahead and download your entire Steam wish list and not have to worry about using up all your data for the month because that's totally happened. Um, we've seen most of the internet companies who have signed the FCC pledge say that they'll honor it through sometime in the end of May, but we've also seen some of them list different dates. So we recommend contacting your internet provider by phone or checking out their website to see when this sort of grace period ends for everybody. We also recommend contacting your internet provider if you're having trouble paying your bill, at least just to get it on the record with them. Um, so they hopefully don't disconnect your service, even though they promise not to. We know things get mixed up in this mess. Um, we think that it's good to at least let them know what you're going through. They may even be able to offer you a sort of flexible payment plan or other options as well. We're really glad to see more than 550 internet providers have signed this pledge, which we've linked in the description below if you wanna see you know, who signed it and see if your internet provider is on the list. Um, but there are a few internet providers out there that are going an even extra mile to help us all out during this time. So speaking of, let's start with Cox. Cox is giving some extra assistance for anybody who's using or interested in its Connect to Compete internet plan, which is for low income families. That's pretty awesome because if you sign up for Connect to Compete right now, you get a month of free service. 
great. That's awesome because a month of free service is so helpful right now because we all need internet to do everything that we do on a normal day to day basis. And hey, if you're already using Connect to Compete, you get temporarily boosted speeds of up to 50 megabits per second, which is also awesome because that means that everybody in your family should be able to do everything that they wanna do or need to do uh, while working from home, studying at home, or just, you know, entertaining themselves. Um, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. And also Cox is throwing in a deal for its starter plan um, and a permanent speed boost for its essential plan. Both of those are not for low income families, so that's a little bit different. But you can read more about that and see, you know, what Cox has been up to in our full COVID-19 resource guide that we've linked in the description. Next up is Spectrum. If you're in the Spectrum service area, this is worth checking out because Spectrum's giving free internet for 60 days to families with students. Now, you do need to be a new customer, but that's good for internet with speeds of up to 100 megabits per second, which is wild because that's enough speed to keep even a large family connected through all of this. We love to hear it and we love to hear Spectrum's definition of student because it means anybody from kindergarten all the way to college. Wow, that's awesome. So that means that if there's anybody in your family who's going to school in any way, shape or form, you should be able to qualify for this uh, free service from Spectrum. So Spectrum asked that anybody interested in this call in. So we've included the phone number in the description below. Check it out. Give them a call if you're interested in learning more or want to sign up. Last but not least, um, Xfinity signed the FCC pledge, but they've also promised a few more things. If you're using the Xfinity Internet Essentials Plan and you're a new customer, uh, you get your first two months of service for free. Now this is a low income plan, uh, plan for low income families, so you will need to qualify, but that's pretty awesome. And they're also boosting the Internet Essentials download speeds from 15 to 25 megabits per second. That means that your whole family should be able to work, study, play, all at home, all at the same time. All right, so that's the internet update for now in a nutshell. If you want more details, check out the description below. We've got some links for you and more information. And hey, if you know of anything that I've missed that you think is notable, please let me know in the comments. I'd really enjoy this see seeing it. Um, and if this was helpful, hit that like button for me. I'd appreciate it. And hey, because I'm a big Hobbit nerd, I'll leave you with this Gandalf quote, sort of paraphrased, keep yourself secret, Keep yourself safe. I hope everybody's taking care. I'll see you guys later.